I'm extremely grateful for coming to Knox. I know my parents have worked incredibly hard to send me to such an amazing school and it's provided me with so many opportunities and I really have found myself and developed as a young man because of everything I've actually had access to. I'm very grateful to be able to have the opportunity to come here. It's given me a lot of opportunity for after school. I've been studying online in the past six months in Hong Kong. I've been Zooming with my teachers every day and uh, I'll also be completing my HSC in Hong Kong as well. I remember my mom taking me to the front gate of the prep, dropping me off, saying bye, looking the tears in her eyes, how proud she was. This is me actually, first day of kindergarten. Took this photo and um, don't think I've aged a day since. My first day, I remember walking up the stairs of the Great Hall. I fell down the stairs in front of everyone. It was raining as well, so I got soaked. It wasn't a great way to start off school, but it was still a good day. This is year nine, first day at school with my dad. I was really scared when I first came to school. What I'm going to miss most about Knox is the journey of being a high school student. Having Being in a, such a fortunate position, we take a lot of stuff for granted. And once we leave school, we never understood how fun or how enjoyable our school lives were. This was me when I was about four and a half years old when I first uh, came to Knox in kindergarten. My mum always wanted to take a photo of me so she could see my progression. And it's crazy to see how much I've developed throughout my schooling years. You can really find yourself and find your mates and that's what I'm going to miss most about it. Some of the best boys you'll ever meet and definitely lifelong friends. I reckon they'll be there forever. When the year groups together, everyone just sort of plays off each other's mood and it's quite a good time. A few of the highlights here, definitely rugby. That's been a big one this year. One of the biggest things I'm going to miss is all the boys standing in the grandstand over there, screaming our hats out to the first 15 playing, war cries, everything. Don't want to let this place go, honestly. Class of 2020, the work we have put in for six years has not gone unnoticed and our resilience to keep the sense of culture, mateship and service within the school alive has been honest work. I couldn't imagine standing here with any other group of blokes. We've laughed, cried, gone in trouble, studied, cheered and rumpled together and that sense of collective identity is so strong. I'm going to miss seeing your faces at school every day. That fact was realised a long time ago. Yet what I have realised recently is that our connection is built to last and because of that, I am comfortable in our departure. To all of Year 12, this year required you to be open-minded, compassionate and thoughtful, but also strong, courageous and resilient. Each and every one of you is a person of character who will shape a positive future for himself and the wider community. We are sad because we say goodbye to you. However, life must move on and it should because bigger things await beyond the walls of the school. I encourage you to take a moment also to reflect on our school motto and I repeat, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong and do everything in love. It's my honour to invite you to leave as the graduating class of 2020 and to collect your old boys tie. Fellas, an exciting journey awaits. Well done to each and every one of you.